This is about as simple and delicious a dessert recipe as you're likely to find, and it's a great way to dress up a store-bought cake. So first we're going to start by combining one can of crushed pineapple with the juice with one package of Jell-O vanilla fat-free instant pudding. So just mix all that in together. And you want to make sure that the pudding is really incorporated well into the crushed pineapple. Next, we're going to stir in one cup of thawed Cool Whip light topping. And I'm just going to use a spatula to pour this in. Set that aside, and then mix all this together. It's so simple. Four ingredients. <laughs> so that's pretty good, and I'm going to set this aside, and now on to the angel food cake. So what you want to do is you want to cut this into three layers. Now there's a couple of tricks. The first trick is that you want to use a serrated knife. And you want to do a sawing back and forth motion so that it can easily cut through the cake. Another great tip is to use toothpicks. And they're a great guide as you're cutting through the cake. I'd like to take off the two top layers first and set them to the side. And then transfer over the bottom layer to the platter. Okay. Now, just using your wooden spoon or a serving spoon, whatever you want to use, we're going to slowly start putting about one and a third cups of this pudding mixture around the base of the cake. If it falls into the center, that's okay. What I like about this is that it's so simple, your guests will never know. Next, we're going to take the middle layer and we're going to place that on top and just press down lightly so all the mixture can mix together. And then we're going to top with about one cup of the pudding mixture starting in the front and working all the way around. And we're going to keep going around and around. Just a bit more. Perfect. And then the top layer. The remaining layer goes right on top again, pressing down lightly, and just put the remainder on top to finish it off. So simple. That's it. That's perfect. Now what we're going to do is pop this in the refrigerator for about an hour to let it set. Wow, this looks great. Now we're going to top it with a few fresh strawberries, just placing them around the top of the cake. And then we're